Hi, I'm Richard Raffin, and I'm going to show you how to sharpen a new tool and uh, reshape it slightly. This is a, uh, a, a, a half-inch spindle gouge from Henry Taylor. I tell a lie. This, it's Hamlet, same company, different name. So the, this is being a brand new tool. Um, it isn't what you're likely to want. So first thing is to make uh, it more a fingernail shape. So I bring both shoulders, both wings onto the wheel, wing it back, and you have a flat area. And so the next aim is to grind away the flat area. But before I do that, I want to increase the length of the bevel. And I do that over on the coarser wheel. So the main idea here is to bring the bevel shoulder onto the wheel and then keep moving the tool until the sparks basically come over the top of the edge. Now it usually happens, I've burnt the uh, little bit of colour on the steel. Fortunately this isn't a big deal with uh, with high speed steel um, provided I can go and dunk in, in uh, water or anything like that I can just uh, I can get it any kind of bright colour I think and uh, it's not going to really affect the cutting quality. So I've got two ways of grinding here I can I like to go up the wheel rather than swing the tool around. Because if I swing the tool around, it's very easy to um, get the edge kind of too straight. Um, and it's also quite easy to have a catch, just as you do when you're turning. So, uh, so I've got the, the main the bulk of the, uh, the wood is off. Now I've got a bit of uh, 240 grit here and I can just hone the flute out and that was a little thing which I used to do and I forgot my uh, hone one time at a symposium in the US and uh, forgot that and I thought I was terribly clever doing that and then I discovered Leonard Lee had suggested doing it in his book on sharpening. So it's um, a very good way that, that pushes the abrasive right down into the flute, covers everything. Now, the idea is to start with the tool on the, uh, uh, the bevel rubbing. Now I'm just going to ease the tool forward until the sparks come over the top. Now if you're using a CBN wheel, you won't get the spark and the but you will see the edge change very slightly right that's it and we can now go and test it and see how it cuts right so here's the gouge always like to give them a bit of a test run uh, The nice thing with this one is that I can, uh, I'll be able to use it for almost kind of V-grooves if I wanted to because it's got a fairly long nose to it. But I also use this uh, for roughing down bowls, just the bowl profile. Yep, so that seems to be, the edge is working fine, so that's good. Another tool up and running.